I got into the industry uh, about six years ago in high school. In high school? I actually started right after high school. I worked at a golf course. You know, it was just, it was just a means of a summer job. Did it every summer and I fell in love with it. I went to school and I realized that you know, it wouldn't be right to not come back to the golf course. And after high school, I went to college for business, uh, and I just didn't really feel like I fit. It fit my personality or me. I couldn't be cooped up inside. I started to realize I didn't want to be in a shop the rest of my life, and I really, I liked being outside. And so I decided to pursue the turf industry. This is my first time attending a university or college, so I think just the the whole time I've been here, it's really been a good experience. My favorite part of the turf program is probably just being here at Penn State. Like you could go to so many different other schools but they don't have the tradition or respect or anything that Penn State has here. The professors either, the students, everyone here is just top class. Probably the professors, they're really helpful, uh, they're really knowledgeable. Being able to hear speakers from like different golf courses. A trip to San Antonio and, and Orlando to represent Penn State. You know, with the tough conference up here and we got a good, good chance to meet a lot of people there. The opportunities that are possible with what I've been through here, the, the jobs that are available and just the experience I've had that will uh, launch me into my future and my career. Uh, I'd say my favorite class at Penn State was Soils with Dr. McNitt. Dr. McNitt's Soils class. Dr. McNitt's Soil. It was just very practical, well to rephrase that, Dr. McNitt is hilarious and uh, it was just a really enjoyable class. I look forward to going into every day. He got the students very involved with each other and made so many real life situations that I think are going to be very beneficial to us in the future. I was soils with Max Schlossberg. Always a pretty funny guy. Always got the class pretty interesting. Just the intro to turf grass uh, with Dr. Huff. I was the first time just like learning about the different turf grasses and I really didn't know that there were that many different species. You just kind of figure they're just one kind of grass. Our tree identification class with Miss Harpster. Um, I just really enjoyed it. I learned a lot. Um, I find myself looking at trees a lot more. Dr. Huff's grass ID, just because it's one of the hardest topics, in my opinion, is being able to ID all the different grasses and species and types and genus of turf there is. So having that under your belt before your internship really made a big difference. Weeds ID with Professor Borgia. Uh, he's, he's very passionate about what he does and to see that with the amount of experience he's got is it's a big eye opener. I learned a lot at my internship this past summer, actually probably more than I have in my whole golf course career before that and so but one thing I really took away from it was uh, working with irrigation. I hadn't really done that in the past so they, uh, they gave me the opportunity to uh, uh, take a loop of holes uh, on the golf course and then basically be responsible for irrigating those holes. We did a full control box remove and reinstall. Of, uh, we updated the whole control system of the irrigation. The art of hand watering, if you will. Um, there's so many ways that you can go out and water greens and uh, you know, to someone who doesn't manage turf, they'd be like, well that sounds ridiculous. But once you come here and you learn and then you go there and you do it and you can actually see the effects, you know that there is a huge difference between ways that you can put down water on greens. And to me, that was really cool to see and learn. The main thing that I learned from my internship was just the importance of details. Uh, the superintendent there was just really into every little detail from just like the tee markers being straight, to just like the cart pass cleared off. Um, at a place like Denver Country Club, it's just so important that every little detail has to be just perfect. When I was on my internship, I had the, the privilege of meeting uh, a boyhood hero of mine, Tiger Woods, with a five minute chat with Alvin Fall at Merrin. So that was a very unique experience. My advice for anyone looking to get into the turf industry is to uh, pay attention to everything. Um, there's a lot to learn below the surface of what you think golf course management takes. Go work at different golf courses, different levels of maintenance, from low end to high end, and don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. You gotta love it. It's, um, this could be a hard job if you're not interested in it, but uh, on the other side, if you love it, then uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's a lot easier to do. You have to love it. If you don't, if you don't have the compassion, and you don't have like, if you don't have the drive, uh, I wouldn't recommend getting into it. It takes a lot, of, a lot of time, a lot of hours, especially in times where most people want a vacation. You're out there working, 
and you're making stuff happen. Uh, so it's it's all it's it's the most rewarding thing I can think of, and I recommend it to everybody. But get ready because it's it's a ride for sure. I've got a lot of memories from here, but uh, I think the one that really stands out is my first time uh, attending a Penn State football game. Probably the, my first whiteout game here at Penn State was pretty an un unforgettable experience. My most important memory from Penn State would be going to the first football game. Uh, just being in a stadium with 100,000 people is just an amazing experience. Yeah, we've had a lot of good memories here. It's hard to just pick one story because every weekend kind of ends with something memorable. If I just had one memory that stood out at Penn State, I don't think my time at Penn State would have been good enough. Nothing in particular that has to go on camera. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite memories from Penn State was uh, we were down getting some food and drinks at Kildare's, and one of my friends decided that he was gonna hop the fence, a chain link fence. Uh, he's not the most athletic guy, and he, he ripped his pants right from the crotch to the ankle. Main standout memories would be the Ryder Cup. Uh, it was just, it was a good experience. I'd never been at a tournament level like that. Um, and being there with my classmates. That's something that you can't even express how awesome that's, that is to go be a part of, you know, one of the best tournaments there is in golf. And to be a part of that is just unreal experience. My friendships at Penn State have allowed me to network. The people I met here, the, the kids in my class, uh, the kids in the classes before and the classes underneath me, it just forms a big network and you know, it gives you that opportunity to reach out to other people in the industry. We were so fortunate to have a small group. There's only nine guys in our group and every single one of them is just an outstanding person. I mean, in the future, I know for a fact that we're all gonna talk to each other. We're gonna say, hey man, what are you doing? I got this, what are you doing? I got this. Everyone here is, is really helpful. We all get along together, and if one guy is kind of slacking, you know, you go and help him out. And uh, like, it works both ways, and, and it, it really makes you understand that when you have a job and you're a superintendent, you can rely on some other superintendent if something's failing at your course. I know that I'll probably be in touch with these guys for the coming years, and you know, I'm excited to see where we all end up. Uh, my plan is after graduation, uh, I'll be at Valhalla taking an irrigation tech or spray tech job and I'll be there for the PGA Championship in 2014. My plans of, after graduation are to go back and work out in Colorado. I'm going to do a second internship out there. I'm going to work at Toronto Golf Club. And I've got a second assistant position at Beth Page Black. I'm going to become a second assistant at Beth Page Black up in Long Island. I plan on going back to Aronimic Golf Club in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. And I'm still uncertain on where I'm going yet. Um, I'm interested in starting my own business uh, in uh, landscape and lawn care. I'm talking to a few people within the U.S. and then I actually have something lined up for back home in case I don't really get anything down here. I'm just kind of keeping it open and seeing what's available and make a decision later. I'll be going to Center Hills. Um, I'm going to continue working there for at least another season. Um, Beyond that, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't. I can't see that far into the future. You know, this industry is all about the next step, and you know, you don't. You never know how long you're going to be in one place. Penn State pride is just being the best at what we do. Just wherever you go, you're representing Penn State, the Nittany Lion. This school is tradition, and people look at you as a Penn Stater, and that carries kind of a lot of. Um, I guess expectations you could say. People expect a lot from Penn State students and we have to deliver on it. Um, I think that's the reason I'm here is the the weight that a degree or a certificate from Penn State holds. Uh, anything with the Penn State name, especially in the turf grass industry, is uh, it's revered. Uh, this place is just has tons of tradition in the turf grass industry. I mean, there's guys that are just at the total top from Penn State. What Penn State pride means to me is just having this naming behind my, behind my degree and my certificate. It's just having the best turf grass in the country. We are Penn State. 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 <laughs>